Alright, in this video, video number 11, and we're going to find the area of a complex shape. And this shape here may look familiar. Let's rewind back to, I think it's T's math tips number 7. Video number seven, we found the perimeter of this complex shape. And you may notice that we have a red five foot and a red 10 foot here. We found those in that video. I encourage you to check out that video there to figure out how we got this five and how we got this 10. That was important in video number seven because we wanted to find the perimeter of this shape. But they can be very helpful now as well since we want to find the area. So fast forwarding back now to video number 11, we have five feet over here and 10 feet over here. So let's find the area of this thing. And it looks like maybe we have some rectangles, some squares. We don't have to worry about triangles or circles or anything like that in this video. But what we wanna do here is break it up into some rectangles and maybe some squares. For example, if I extend this down, we have this long skinny rectangle here and the area of a rectangle is length times width or base times height, whatever you wanna call it. Well, basically you're taking this side, this entire side here is two, but we do not multiply by four because the four only covers this much. And we don't want all that based on my drawing. My drawing is showing this whole piece here. So let's take two times nine, we get 18. So that area is 18 square feet. That is this entire piece right here. So now that we have that piece out of the way, let's focus on something else. You can break this up however you want. I'm going to draw a line straight down here. So we now have a rectangle inside of this piece. Be careful, don't use 10 for this piece from here to here because the 10 represents from this corner to this corner. From here to here is the same thing as this six feet piece, okay? That's good, well, four feet. Four feet is that. How do we figure out this dotted line here? Well, take note, from here all the way down, that's nine feet. And we're assuming everything is 90 degree angles, so we have right angles. Nine feet all the way down. This much is four feet, so this much here has to be five feet, because four feet plus five feet gives us the entire nine feet we have here. Therefore, this little dotted section is five feet, and when we take six feet times five feet, we have 30 square feet. So looking at our area so far, 18 square feet for this yellow section, we have 30 square feet for this green section here. And now let's just figure out some way of breaking this stuff up. You can do it multiple ways. Maybe some of you decided to take this green rectangle, you know, all the way over here. There's nothing wrong with that. I just didn't do that in this video. I tell you what, since I've drawn two vertical lines this way, I'm going to bring this one straight across over here. Let's see what we got going on. Well, luckily, check this out. We have five feet by five feet. This right here is a square because we have this five, this five. You may say, oh, well, that's four. But notice we have a little bit more. This right here forms a perfect square. And if we take five feet times five feet, we have 25 square feet. That's going to be this region right inside of here. Now, all we have left, you know, so far we got these three sections, the yellow, the green, and the blue. We still have this little piece down here. And that four feet is helpful. I'm going to take this four feet and slide it over here. That represents the distance from this corner down to this corner. So we have four feet by something here, or that's the same thing as this piece down here. Well, how long is this dotted line? Multiple ways to do this here. If I come back to this five feet, that's all the way across. And notice this little section right here is three. Well, we have to cover two more feet here to cover that same five feet across the top because three feet plus two feet gives us five feet. Another way of looking at this before we find the area, remember from here all the way to here, that's 10 feet. Remember we said this right here was six, right? From earlier because of that six, so that's six. How about this? That's two feet to match that, so we have six, seven, eight. Well, since the whole thing is 10 feet, again, we have two feet across the bottom as well. Just showing you that we do get the same number both up here and down here. Therefore, taking that four feet times that two feet, we have eight square feet for that little section there. 
And finally, taking all four of these sections, let's add them all up. 30 plus 18, that's 48. 48 square feet plus eight square feet, that's gonna be 56 square feet. And 56 square feet plus 25 square feet, that's going to be what? 81. So the total area of this complex shape is 81 square feet. And again, what I did there is I took all four of these sections that we found, I added them all up, and we get 81 square feet. I highly encourage you to try taking this shape here and breaking it up into something different than what I did. For example, some of you may take, you know, this rectangle here, you may find that area, that's gonna be a little bit funky up here, but you can still do it. That would change this area here as well. But no matter how you do it, granted you break it up correctly, you find the areas, you add them up, you should get 81 square feet. And there you have it, video number 11 for T's Math Tips, where we find the area of a complex shape. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.